Memorial Day, a time to remember our brave men and women who have sacrificed their very lives serving in the armed forces. Personally, I only knew two who perished, one friend and one relative, both in the Vietnam War. Just two. Two too many, though. So we remember our fallen heroes on Memorial Day. And although I've experienced over a half century of Memorial Days now, and thought I knew a lot about it all, there's one aspect I never really realized. Didn't think about it all. The dogs. Huh? That's what you're thinking, huh? Now, I'm a verified dog nut, but I didn't know about the dogs. Then I gazed at my own canine, goes by the name of Nutty Nunzi. He was looking at photos on the computer, as he is wont to do. Then he gazed back at me with a puzzled expression. He had a most curious question for me. Nunzi asked, Ah, what's this dog statue thing here, huh? I take a look at the image he's looking at, and it is indeed a statue of a dog. It's a memorial, though. A memorial to Marine Service Dogs. Well, I'll be. It never crossed my mind. Big dog fan like me should be ashamed of himself. I should have been giving up homage to our furry warriors on Memorial Day all these years. Bad boy, Craig. Bad boy. It all makes sense, though. Pooches would be wherever peoples are. Hell, humans and canines have lived together for centuries now. I never dreamed that they could perform the way they performed for us overseas. It was beyond belief, the lives that they saved. They saved hundreds of lives, including mine. For many years, dogs and humans have lived and laughed side by side together. Makes perfect sense we would die together. We spend so much time I with never them. dreamed that they They're just like being brothers. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think of that. Dogs are man's best friend and they proved it as far as I was concerned. He was God's angel for me, my guarding angel. Me and my mighty fine canine are going to concentrate and enjoy the pursuit of happiness thing this holiday. Yeah, that's the freedom our brave soldiers fought for us to keep and we're gonna run with it. And we heartily recommend that all you Americans out there do too. Go outside, any place nice. Maybe even some trees or some grass or wherever. Try to have fun with friends and family. Enjoy frolicking with the happiness freedom and toss in a few thoughts and salutes to the doggy soldiers, too. If you want. Which is our plan. Really like Nunzi and I will be having fun out on the beach and then traveling to a couple of barbecue parties. But I think you're his favorite Already this morning, my canine pursued happiness by prancing over to a cute bunch of little kids playing in the sand. Since we've run into this group many times before, Nunzi got lots of happiness by little hands petting him all over, interspersed by exciting bounce of entertaining ball fetching. He's presently achieving delicious happiness by chewing a giant bully bone, and I plan on eating lots of delicious stuff as well. Yep, that's the simple plan we highly recommend to everyone. Pursue as much happiness and fun as you can, and eat, 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 and drink, and be merry. And of course, think of those who made all this possible with their sacrifice. Yeah, we're blessed enough to live by the sea. It's the sea that goes by the name of the Pacific Ocean. And if you sail to that ocean horizon, and keep going and going and going, you eventually get to where it mixes in with another area of the Big Blue Sea. That most important area where that island of Guam is. Now we know much better where that place is and what happened there. The bravery and the blood that was spilled there for us today. That Guam Sea and this Pacific Sea are connected. They are one. Back then and today are connected. 
when Nunzi and I go down to that sea in the mornings, we will remember what happened. When we stroll along the shore and baptize our feet and paws in that holy water. We will not forget the 25 canines buried at sea in that same connected holy water. We will feel their souls. Remembering every day all the brave humans and canines who perish to give us the freedoms we enjoy today. Rest in peace, brave warriors. We salute you. Amen.